happen. Hello, future family. Welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, please take a moment and hit the subscribe button. If you're returning, future fam, famer, uh, we welcome you back. Welcome back. And we would like to welcome you to the first day of Vlogmas. So what? Y'all are gonna have first. <laughs> you guys are gonna have to pardon the messes around. Um, it's been yeah. a busy, a busy season, but we're excited. This is our first attempt at doing Vlogmas, and um, you know we're gonna say we're gonna put our best foot forward here and try to get through all twenty five days. But bear with we're us. Try. Bear with us. Uh, as we figure this whole vlogging daily thing out and still try to lead a uh, very busy lives. Hey Siri, cancel timer. So we hope that you enjoy this Vlogmas series and finishing out the year of 2018 with us strong. We've missed you guys and we're super excited about this. So we're actually about to have some tea right now and um, we just finished doing a little bit of shopping at the mall. Ultimately, not ultimately, but um, what did I pick up? Sephora had the $25 off like holiday coupon sale. So I actually went in there and picked up some things that I've been wanting for a little while. Um, some stuff by Rihanna. Where else did I go? I went to Perfumania. They're having a 50% off sale for the season. I've been wanting this um, Sophia by Sophia Vergara perfume. Oh, it smells amazing, you guys. It smells so amazing. Definitely worth uh, that deal. And Bath and Body Works, they were having their eight ninety five dollars uh, today only candle sale plus the 20% off coupon. So stopped and got a few candles for that. Um, we didn't necessarily need candles, but I did want to get some of like the holiday, uh, the holiday scents that they had. So they're having that sale today for the rest of today. And yeah, that was a pretty awesome day. You know, work was work finished early <laughs> and met Bay, And now we're here. We're about to have a game night. So I'm going to um, get your butt whooped whatever i'm gonna kick aaron's butt in uno and what else possibly dominoes the no, way i always do problem. the way i always do <laughs> he's not ready he's never ready <laughs> he gets so mad like he's such a soul loser but yeah i'm gonna take him down so we will uh catch you guys while we're gaming and yeah, it feels good to be back. Good morning, future family. Welcome back to our channel. For those of you that are returning, thank you for joining us again. For those of you that are new here, please hit that subscribe button down below and welcome to the family. So it is Vlogmas day two. So before we even go forward, we have to address the, uh, the fail with yesterday's uh, game night and vlog. So, after we started recording the uh the vlogmas day one yeah we got we ate dinner we got tired and we went to bed so we are gonna try to redo this on today uh so vlogmas day one is probably not gonna be the greatest vlog but we still got 24 days left so we are ready to bring you all of the uh entertainment a look into our daily lives during the holidays and yeah just sharing this exciting time and you know season with you guys so right now uh, i am getting ready to do some sunday cleaning because i'll be very frank my house looks crazy and that is something that happens when you just are extremely busy during the week and sometimes you're just too tired and whatever yeah and it is time guys it is time it is time to correct the problem so i'm sure you guys can see in the background i have some of my work stuff here uh, my work stuff has taken over taken over my life and it is just time it's time to declutter it's time to get rid of this stuff start going through some stuff definitely don't want to have this kind of uh clutter with me going into the new year so 
I'm going to be working on cleaning up some stuff and then I'm going to make myself some breakfast while I wait for Aaron to come back. He had a morning meeting today uh, at work, so he doesn't typically work on Sundays, but today he had to go in, uh, help them present to the actual meeting. So he should be back probably around like 10, 30, 11. So that should give me enough time to at least get a good head start on some of the things that I need to do here. And then uh, later on, we'll probably go out for like lunch or something. So it is candle season. Told you guys yesterday we bought some candles. So I love lighting my, uh, I love lighting my candles. Have my little candle wick trimmer. And we're gonna get this uh, marshmallow fireside going. And then I'm gonna go ahead and light my candle in the kitchen, which is white pumpkin. So that was one of the ones that I had started burning during the uh, fall season. Well, during the early fall season. That isn't quite done yet, so. I said, oh, well, that is more of like a uh, a cooking scent. So we'll use that for the kitchen. I think I might have overdid it a little bit, guys, because the, uh, the full candles that we have, like, we have so many of them left. And I know that I can, like, keep them for next year. I know that's completely fine. But... There are like so many of them left. And we just purchased some more during that sale. So we could actually have some of the um some of the Christmas smell ones. So I think in total I have about like anywhere from 10 to 15 candles just chilling out. And the three wick candles, they don't burn as quickly, so those are actually going to last us for a little while. Of course, when the spring comes around, I'm sure I'll still want to pick up a few. But I won't need to pick up as many because we're pretty much already set for next year. All right. Whew, let's go this way. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is wash dishes and then we're gonna go ahead and clean up the uh, uh oh clean up the bathroom so I will check back in with you guys I will check back in with you guys in a little bit uh, I definitely want to take care of some of these dishes so that we can get some breakfast going all right guys so I am done with the uh, dishes, cleaning up the counter, wipe down the stove a little bit. So I'm actually in the process of making um, a very light breakfast. So I made some um, Hawaiian like crescent rolls, which you can see I've already dug into. Uh, the Hawaiian style crescent rolls. So they have like flavored Hawaiian style. So it's supposed to mimic like the Hawaiian rolls. Um, they're actually pretty good. I have some Canadian bacon here that I'm going to finish up for today. And I'm just gonna like saute this in a little bit of butter and then I'm gonna put this and some American cheese on the croissant and that's what I'm gonna eat for breakfast so letting the pot warm up right now and yeah then we're gonna get busy all right so there you have it guys that goodness is all done very quick simple easy breakfast um, I'm about to dig in so let me get my plate together grab me some orange juice and we're gonna sit down and eat so good the fact that I was like super hungry I'm sure just playing a part but definitely good So I'm gonna finish eating up and once we move on to the next thing I'll bring you guys along bye look who it is guys what's up how y'all doing so we are waiting for an uber 
to you go into the city. Um, yeah, complete transformation from this morning. And we are going to the Boyle downtown, uh, downtown Manhattan. After that, uh, hopefully, I was actually thinking we could take a trip to the Zono store, but okay. I mean, if are they they're open? Open, yeah, it is. I don't Sunday. know if they'll be open at that. Um, at after we're done yeah. eating, I doubt it. So, unless we like speed eat, which is not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I was thinking we could do like hot chocolate in the city too. Oh, it's not hot cocoa. You want to do that, Coco? You do that, Coco? Mm hmm So, yeah. We are going to the boil. We're going to have some seafood. I was craving seafood. And just need to get out the house and get some air. Um, after that, do a little hot chocolate in the city. Perfect weather. It's, like, super rainy. Not really cold, but super rainy. Yeah, it's just wet out. And just walk a little bit. Not a lot. Just a little bit. <laughs> they close at six, so. Ah, uh, that yeah. sucks. And see what else is going on in Manhattan. <sighs> so, I did complete all of my tasks. Um, I washed up the dishes, cleaned the kitchen, cleaned up the bathroom, made fresh linens. I didn't make fresh linens, <laughs> but <laughs> I definitely changed the sheet. So we have fresh linens. Uh. I didn't get to any of my desk stuff yet, but tomorrow's another day, you know? Yeah. Girls gotta eat. <laughs> so. Yeah, girls gotta eat. Uh, this is like a super depressing time of year because it gets dark so early. So even though I'm ready to like, I'm up, I'm ready to go out, have some fun. It's almost like I just want to go to sleep, too, because it's dark out, and this is just great, like, movie weather. Oh, we didn't even make it to storage. I guess we'll do tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. So we're going to go to uh, storage to get the Christmas tree tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be putting up the uh, tree for the holidays. We have some gifts here already that need to be wrapped and need to get put under there. So it'll have a couple of little touches uh, once we get it up. And yes, definitely need to finish decluttering because tree in here with clutter is not going to work. Mm -hmm. So, well, hopefully we don't have to go around the world. <clears throat> yeah, hopefully not. Let it spell free. <laughs> so I mean, we'll still get there before the reservation. So, and it's not like we're driving, so we can relax and go to sleep. I agree. Huh? I could use a nap. I was up. Oh yeah, I was up early today. I was up at like four o'clock for no reason. For no it's reason. Ridiculous. I was up at four to go to work. And she's up. I'm like, what do you do? Go to sleep. Just get day <laughs> off. Go back to sleep. I can't sleep. <laughs> yeah, I have these like weird sleep patterns, and I definitely do not know why. Like, but I'm up usually around like four o'clock every morning. Uh, I cannot go back to sleep, and then I finally get back to sleep around like six, and then I have to get up at seven. So <laughs> I don't know, but it's definitely throwing my, uh, you know. Little vibes off. Definitely is. So I told them about our flop <laughs> on oh, game night. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit of a flop. But I cut my hair down. So that was a win. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I guess I did win after all. Cut my hair. Oh, yeah. Or is that a win for you? Mm -hmm. That's a win for me. Damn I lost beard. Again. <laughs> Hashtag beard gang. I don't like beards. I miss my beard. I told him he could have left like a little bit more stubble at the bottom because it is cold. It's winter time. But 
You gonna be out here looking like Rick Ross. That is not Ugh. for me. Rick Ross, say. I can't do the beard gang. Ugh. Sorry, guys. What about Philadelphia Freeway? Yeah. Freeway in the place. My life. <laughs> Every day. Every day. <laughs> I'm crazy. They know. You crazy too, though. So. I feel like they know that. This is my fit for today. Table is like slightly in the way. Uh, keeping it casual but cute. You know. Got on our little jeans, cold shoulder sweater. Um, got on a little cold foot boots <laughs> and scarf my bag is over here in the chair have my little new jacket hopefully I do not freeze to death because you know in order to be fashionable with this particular outfit uh, I had to forego wearing my big coat so yeah hopefully the temperature doesn't drop like 20 degrees and I'll be fine but, yep, that's the fit of the day. So, we are at the boil, guys. Um, everything smells delicious. We ordered our food already. Uh, I'm waiting for my drink to come. I ordered, like, the Bayou juice. This has Malibu. Captain Morgan, something I don't drink. Amaretto, which I love. Cranberry and pineapple, which you know, is my, my favorite, one of my favorite non-alcohol drinks. Um, and then I wanted some crab legs, so I got the crab legs with the uh, boiled Cajun blend. Uh, typically I like obey, obey on my crab legs, but you know, first time at the boil, you gotta try what makes them special. And then I ordered some corn and we ordered some catfish sliders for appetizers. They ordered crawfish. I've never had crawfish, so maybe this will be a first time try. I don't know. I'm a little scared. They look like little lobsters without bodies. <laughs> they do. <laughs> so we'll see. The, ju the jury is out on, you know, all of the hype, but at the end of the day, I will let you guys know as I do the guys exactly what I think about the book. We have a getting set up for getting set up for the They get on set up. Very from crab legs. Had a little drink. What did you end up getting? I forgot what it was called. Was that like a Frenchman or something? Yeah, it's a Frenchman. How did I know? Because it has Hennessy in it. <laughs> mm. That's good. The maraschino cherry actually, you can taste it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can taste it in my skin. Can you? I don't have a cherry. <laughs> so you probably need a little citrus to cut your drink. Is it good? Sweet. It looks good. They need to get me a slaughter because I am stuck.
so we are done at the boil um when i say amazing period point blank amazing mm -hmm. the food was spectacular uh it was definitely worth every penny yes and i would recommend it if you're into seafood definitely a place to try we had the cajun uh mix like spicy next time i come i would want to try the old bay but well worth the uh the price good how are you so we are going to cocoa bar now to get some hot chocolate and maybe maybe dessert maybe So I don't think you guys can see me, so we'll be back. Say hi, babe. Hi, babe. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, renting a hotel room in the city, at least like, if she wants to kind of keep with that idea of like drinking, all that stuff, mm -hmm. at least you can do it. Like we can all get together, have party, like party, have a good time. If anybody wants to stay, like it'll be a lot Actually, less expensive. Yeah. But then we can also venture out and just do whatever is around. Maybe go bowling or go play pool or something. Yeah. I should see if Jason is still working at Because <coughs> mm -hmm. like the, the rooftop bar, like as long as you're a guest at the hotel, you can bring people up to that rooftop bar. Mm, we had fun there too. Can we just sit? Um, you want to sit like right by the door, or do you want to like this? Sit up there. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, like actually like dim to. This is like the chocolate bar. No, this is the cocoa bar. We're gonna get this right, okay? Okay. Perfect. Okay. So we are at the cocoa bar. They serve coffee, chocolate, and wine. Um, this is essentially like a chocolate bar that's in Brooklyn. So it's a dessert bar, and you can get like dessert wines and stuff. So let's see what they have here. We actually wanted hot chocolate. I'm hoping that they have hot chocolate. These are the other ones. Cocoa bar cocktails. Oh, they have sake. Yeah, they have white, white chocolate. Really try the actual regular hot chocolate. Hi, how are you? Um, I guess between the milk and white hot chocolate, which one is more popular? The milk one, but I like more white. Is it like sweeter? Yeah, it's sweeter. If you're like white chocolate, uh -huh. then it's good. I do. Um, I'm just like this is my first time here. But I feel like because it's my first time here and this is called the Cocoa Bar, that I should actually I try the milk right chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll get one of each and then we get to eat. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so, can you do yeah. it? Wait, you have 2% milk? 2%? 2%. Okay. 2% for me. Um, huh? Wait, you said it's usually made with skim milk? No, no, no. I mean, we have skim milk. Oh, oh no, 2% is fine. Yeah. Yeah, no, 2%, not skim. <laughs> yeah. So, white, white chocolate, milk chocolate. Um, what desserts do you guys have? Well, our secret number one is like a granola. It's like a vanilla croissant, but I like a little bit sweeter. Mm -hmm. And we put the vanilla nice granola. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, I 
think I want to do that. The brownie on the roll. Sure. Do you have marshmallows in your hot chocolate? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> got that Fenty glow going on. <laughs> um, I think, what did I buy? The matchstick in blonde? I can't remember if I told you guys that or not, but it was a matchstick in blonde from, for Fenty, from Fenty, Fenty Beauty, if I can gather my words. Um, yeah. Cold shoulder Fenty glow. This is actually a nice little spot here. Hopefully they don't mind me uh, tour the place. And we have holiday roses. I'm pretty sure that's not what that is. Is that a poinsettia? <laughs> I think that's a poinsettia. I think so. Right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a poinsettia. I learned that from Holiday ba Baking Championship. I have no idea what a poinsettia is. It's about the gift of time. 
The gift of time spent with those that you care most about. Like my baby. Yay. <laughs> what am I looking forward to this holiday season? This might be a little odd for me, but I'm actually looking forward to patrolling the hat streets at night because one of the things that I've never like, actually had time to do is really see Manhattan during the holidays at night. Um, so this will be my first, this will be my first year where I am like in this market during the holiday season for my dog. And as we kind of get closer to holidays, like my visits, you know, my store visits will be later. And I'm kind of looking forward to that, like just kind of watching, on looking, you know, being an on looking as people enjoy the season in the city. So, as much as I do not like coming to Manhattan on regular days, that is probably the one thing that I'm looking forward to. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, they don't venture out to the city on a day off while you're working. We can venture off and see Coco Bar. <laughs> see how festive they get. Right. They got the point chess. <laughs> and a Santa hat. And Coco Bar. <coughs> So, so it's still raining, but a little bit. it ended up being a great day overall. So even though we're you. getting a little wet, I didn't actually know that there was a Stanton Street. Stanton Social. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's uh, where the name comes from. Um, but yeah, it's a little wet, but it's not terrible out here. We're walking to our pool pickup area now. New York always finds a way to get more money out of you. It's like, yeah. oh, started with Uber Pool. It was a great concept. A lot of people take advantage of it. Now they don't want to actually pick you up at your destination anymore. They want to make you walk anywhere from like three to seven minutes away <laughs> from where you're actually at to make it easier for the driver it's like then when they come up with a tip then they're like tip three five and ten dollars no <laughs> that's not how that goes <laughs> no oh you made me walk no i tip. pay for convenience not for me to have to walk five minutes out of my way to then tip you 20 percent. like that, that that's not <laughs> how that goes it should be good right Now, what if I was like, I wanted to do a pool, but let's say I was by myself. Now, look at where I am. <laughs> In essence, there is nothing out here except for me, three people walking by, and the deli. And me. I'm in here. I got you, babe. Did you did you hear what I said? Did I you know. Give, did you hear the example? Mm -hmm. oh, if okay. you're out here by yourself, <laughs> okay. but you not, but you not though. <laughs> that was a hypothetical <laughs> situation. <laughs> I think this is our ride.
Right, and then she falls across the street. <laughs> and we're clearly right here. Hi, yes. Ooh. So, we are in the Uber now, and you guys can see me, so I will talk to you when I get home. Hey, Future Fam. So, we are back. We're home, finally, uh, from the city. We had an amazing time, both at the Boyle and Cocoa Bar. So, um, two places that we, I think, both would definitely recommend. Oh, yeah. Yes. Definitely. For anybody that's just in the market to try something new, um, if you like, you know, the idea of like dessert restaurants, dessert style restaurants, that kind of stuff, um, nightcap feel type of thing, uh, we definitely recommend Cocoa Bar, both for a thumbs up in my book, and <laughs> I clearly can't use both thumbs, but um, <laughs> all thumbs up. <laughs> Definitely two places that I would say if you were downtown Manhattan, you should definitely try out. So with that, we are going to call it a night and we will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 3. Ciao.